Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli Birth of Venus serves up instant recognition. We're all familiar with Sandro Botticelli's masterpiece. Still, have we really looked at it? It's a birth. That's messy, baby-centric business. But this portrait shows neither mess nor baby, only beauty. There's simply the wonder of new life present here. In fact, the work arouses more questions than it answers. How is a full-grown woman arising out of this clean and still seashell? That's not how Venus was born. She emerged from the wrecked genitals of her murdered father, Uranus. But there's nothing about that here. Instead, Botticelli blows zephyr breezes through supermodel hair. Still, there are references to the cover-up. Look at the nymph holding up a flowery silken covering for Venus on the right. She knows what's up. This lady needs to hide herself, pronto. Society at the time of this work was like today's Instagram. No nudity allowed. Venus covers herself with a modest hand gesture. She's somehow both naked and pure, as only Botticelli can portray. Carefree Goddess Venus Much like a newborn, unfettered Venus appears innocent. Her expression rises above her shell-bound circumstance. That may be thanks to her goddess stature, as well as the eager helpers all around. They attend to her needs. Her placid features stand out next to the anxious Zephyr and his companion, the nymph Chloris. She clutches Zephyr tight. So the flowers Chloris brought Venus fall in a flurry of wind and Chloris's face registers surprise. The nymph with her embroidered cloak also seems serious and focused. Venus remains the only one without a care. This portrayal points to the god and goddess role in the lives of mythmakers and believers. They're meant to explain things. Venus, for instance, means to explain many complexities of womanhood. She represents love, beauty, prosperity, fertility, and victory. This lady's a winner but she arose from the ultimate symbol of failure, her father, Uranus's chopped off genitals, thrown into the sea as a sort of blood and semen ceviche, his tragic member foamed into a glorious goddess. She arose like a bombshell phoenix from his epic fail. It's an unforgettable origin. Yet Botticelli forces us to forget it with this work. That grotesque beginning can't occur to a viewer of such beauty. It seems impossible, a specter of fake news. Thus we have the west wind god Zephyr blowing these cares away. There's also the well-dressed nymph hovering with an elegant cloak to shield us even more from the situation's truth. Birth of Venus thus serves as the ultimate Italian masterwork of spin. It's beyond beautiful, too perfect to be true. That's what makes this a masterpiece. Birth of Venus FAQs. 
Why is the birth of Venus important? Sandro Botticelli painted it between 1482 and 1485. Now it defines 15th century Italian painting. The work features technical mastery as well as rich allegory and meaning. In particular, it refers to Ovid's Metamorphoses and the Roman myths of Uranus and Venus. What's the story of the birth of Venus? Venus was born out of sea foam. Uranus, her father, had his genitals cut off and tossed into the sea. This created a foamy fertilization for a goddess. She thus arose like a surfer on a seashell. The west wind god Zephyr blew her forth and into being. Where can I see the birth of Venus in person? The painting currently resides at the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy. The address is Piazzale degli Uffizi, 650122, Firenze, Italy. This is only a hop and a step away from the extraordinary Vasari Corridor. It's a bridge, Medici Art Gallery, and corridor all in one. If you love self-portraits, this is a life-changing art exhibit. Who is the woman in Birth of Venus? Simonetta Vespucci was a model for many of Sandro Botticelli's works. An Italian noblewoman, she was considered the queen of beauty among Florentine painters during the Renaissance. Botticelli loved to paint her. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.